45 year old Jerry Ely is not skipping a beat. He's hoping a new procedure at University Health will give him back his life. Three years ago, he was diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, better known as AFib. It means he has an irregular rapid heartbeat. It's makes me tired and I can't do normal stuff that other people do anymore. After 25 years as a security guard, Jerry's AFib forced him to retire. Because the heart is beating fast all the time, not enough blood gets ejected from the heart to the different parts of the body. And so you can have fatigue chronically. They feel like they are you know, wiped out when they come home after their work and things like that. Although there are medications, the most successful treatment is ablation. In the past, doctors have used heat to scar an area around the veins in the heart causing the AFib. This gets the heart back into a regular rhythm. The intricate procedure could take up to two and a half hours to complete. And after surgery, patients would have to deal with chest pains and nausea. Now for the first time, LSU Health Shreveport electrophysiologist Dr. Pari Dominic is using cold instead of heat to do the same job. Dr. Dominic uses the Arctic Front Advanced Catheter from Medtronic. The catheter makes its way to the heart and the veins causing the AFib. When it reaches the right area, a balloon is deployed from the end of the catheter. It inflates and freezes the area around the vein, leaving behind the same type of scarring as the heat ablation procedure. This procedure, though, takes less than an hour with the same results. For Jerry Ely, this could be the medical answer that he's been waiting for. He should be able to live a normal life. Um, there is a 30% chance of recurrence with any kind of ablation, whether it's heat or cold. Um, but even that can be fixed with a second uh, sitting of an ablation. Sometimes there is a leak that we can fix it. But for the most part, he should be able to live um, a pretty normal life when he goes back into normal sinus rhythm. Dr. Dominic cautions that cryoablation is not for everyone. An examination can figure out the best procedure. Jerry Ely hopes this procedure will get his heart and life back into rhythm. For the University Health News Network, I'm Ed Walsh.